Exercise Question 1 A. Choose the most correct alternative and rewrite. 1. The device used for producing current is called a dash. A. Voltmeter. B. Ammeter. C. Galvanometer. D. Generator. The answer is the device used for producing current is called an generator. 2. At the time of short circuit, the current in the circuit dash A increases, B decreases, C remains same, or D increases in steps. The answer is at the time of short circuit, the current in the circuit decreases. 3. The direction of the magnetic field around a straight conductor carrying current is given by dash. A. Right hand rule. B. Fleming's left hand rule. C. Fleming's right hand rule. D. None of these. The answer is the direction of the magnetic field around a straight conductor carrying current is given by Fleming's right hand rule. Question 1 B. Say true or false. If false, write the correct sentence. 1. Magnetic pole exists in pairs the answer is true 2 magnetic field increases as we go away from a magnet the answer is false the correct statement is magnetic field decreases as we go away from a magnet 3 Magnetic lines of force always cross each other. The answer is false. The correct statement is magnetic lines of force never cross each other. 4. Electric generator is used to generate current. The answer is true. C. Find the odd one out. 1. Loudspeaker, microphone, electric motor, bar magnet. The answer is electric motor. Two. Armature coil, brushes, commutator, direct current. The answer is direct current. 3. Fuse, insulating material, rubber shoes, generator. The answer is generator. 4. Voltmeter, ammeter, Galvanometer, thermometer. The answer is thermometer. Question 2. Define. First, magnetic field. Answer. A region around a magnet in which its magnetic effect that is, force of attraction and repulsion exists, is called the magnetic field of the magnet. Two, solenoid. Answer, a coil of many turns of insulated copper wire wrapped in the shape of a cylinder is called a solenoid.
3. Electric motor A device which converts electric energy into mechanical energy is called an electric motor. Question 3. State the rules. 1. Fleming's right hand rule. Answer. 1. Stretch the thumb, forefinger and middle finger of the right hand so that they are perpendicular to each other. 2. It states that if the forefinger indicates the direction of the magnetic field, and the thumb shows the direction of the motion of conductor, the middle finger will show the direction of induced current. Two. Right hand thumb rule. Answer. Imagine that you are holding a current carrying straight conductor in your right hand such that the thumb points towards the direction of current. Then the curled fingers around the conductor will give the direction of the magnetic field. This is known as right hand thumb rule. Question 4. Distinguish between electric motor and electric generator. Answer. 1. An electric motor converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. Whereas an electric generator converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. 2. An electric motor works on the principle that a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field experiences a force. While an electric generator works on the principle of electromagnetic induction. Question 5. State the characteristics of magnetic lines of force. Answer. Magnetic lines of force. The path along which the unit north pole moves in a magnetic field is called magnetic line of force or magnetic field lines. Properties of Magnetic Lines of Force 1. Magnetic Lines of Force are closed, continuous curves. They start from North Pole and end on South Pole. Two, the tangent at any point on the magnetic line of force gives the direction of the magnetic field at that point. 
3. No two magnetic lines of force can intersect each other. 4. Magnetic lines of force are crowded where the magnetic field is strong and far from each other where the field is weak. Question 6. Give scientific reasons. 1. Wires carrying electricity should not be touched barefooted. Answer. 1. While handling electrical wires, there are chances of the current flowing through the body of the person handling that wire. Thus, the person may get a nasty shock. 2. Rubber footwear prevents passage of current through the body. 3. Hence, wires carrying electricity should not be touched barefooted. Second. We should not use many electrical appliances simultaneously. Answer. 1. If many electrical appliances of high power are switched on simultaneously, overloading occurs. 2. Overloading means the flow of large amount of current in the circuit beyond the permissible value of current which causes fires. 3. Hence, we should not use many electrical appliances simultaneously. 2nd. We should not use many electrical appliances simultaneously. Answer. 1. If many electrical appliances of high power are Third. switched on simultaneously, Alloys like overloading occurs. or nipper mag are Two. used in industry. Overloading means the Answer. flow of large amount of current in One. the circuit nipper beyond mag the is permissible an alloy value of, iron, of current, nickel, which aluminium, fires. and titanium. Three. Two. Hence, we iron should not use aluminium, many electrical appliances nickel, cobalt, simultaneously. Alloy of iron. Three. Second, permanent magnets made we up should of not use and nipper many mag electrical appliances are used in industry simultaneously in microphones, loudspeakers, Answer. electric clocks, One. and many other devices. If many like electrical appliances, voltmeters, high power, and speedometers are switched on simultaneously, overloading occurs. Two, overloading means the flow of large amount of current in the circuit beyond the permissible value of current which causes fires for three a magnetic grain is not used, used many to electrical load and appliances simultaneously answer One. second sharp we and should heavy not iron use scrap many electrical appliances attached to this magnetic grain Two. Answer. This process One. is used in loading if many and electrical appliances and of high iron. power are switched on simultaneously, overloading occurs. Two. Overloading means the flow of large amount of current in the circuit beyond the permissible value of current, which causes fires. Question 7. Give the construction and working of First, electric motor. Answer. Construction. 1. Armature coil. A large number of turns of insulated copper wire wound on iron core in rectangular shape forms an armature coil ABCD. 2. Strong Magnet
The armature coil is placed in between two pole pieces, north and south, of a strong magnet. This provides a strong magnetic field. 3. Split ring commutator. It consists of two halves, R1 and R2, of a metallic ring. The ends of the armature coil are connected to these rings. Commutator reverses the direction of current in the armature coil. 4. Brushes. Two carbon brushes, B1 and B2, are used to press the commutator. 5. Battery. The battery supplies the current to the armature coil. Working of the electric motor. 1. When current is passed through the coil, ABCD, arms AB and CD experience force. According to Fleming's left-hand rule, the force experienced by arm AB is in the downward direction and arm CD is in the upward direction. 2. Both these forces are equal and opposite. This force rotates the coil in clockwise direction till the coil is vertical. At this position, the contact between commutator and brushes breaks. 3. So the supply to the coil is cut off. Thus, no force acts on the coil. But the coil does not stop due to inertia. It goes on rotating till the commutator again comes in contact with the brushes B1 and B2. 4. Again, the current starts passing through the coil and the arm AB rotates through 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees and 360 degrees. 5. Now the force acting on arm AB is downward and CD is upward. 6. Again, this force moves the coil in clockwise direction. 7. Thus, the coil rotates with the help of electrical energy. The coil of DC motor continues to rotate in the same direction. Two, electric generator, construction. The main components of AC generator. One, armature. Two, strong magnets. Three, split rings. And four, brushes. One, armature, strong magnets and brushes are the same as used for electric motors. 2. Strong Magnet The armature coil is placed in between two poles of a strong magnet which provides a strong magnetic field. 3. Split Rings The two ends of the armature coil are connected to two brass split rings R1 and R2 which rotate along with the armature coil. 4. Brushes Two carbon brushes, B1 and B2, are used to press the split rings. Working 1. When the armature coil ABCD rotates in the magnetic field provided by the strong magnets, 
it cuts the magnetic lines of forces. 2. Thus, the changing magnetic field produces induced current in the coil. 3. The current flows out through the brush B1 in one direction in the first half of the revolution and through the brush B2 in the next half revolution in the reverse direction. This process is repeated. 4. Therefore, the induced current produced is of alternating nature. B. DC generator or dynamo? Answer. Construction. The main components of DC generator are 1. Armature coil. A large number of turns of insulated copper wire wound on iron core in rectangular shape forms an armature coil ABCD. 2. Strong magnet. The armature coil is placed in between two poles of a strong magnet which provides a strong magnetic field. 3. Split rings or Commutator. It consists of two halves, R1 and R2 of a metallic ring. The ends of the armature coil are connected to these rings, which reverses the direction of the current in the armature coil. 4. Brushes. Two carbon brushes, B1 and B2, are used to press the split rings. 5. Bulb The output is shown by the glowing bulb connected across the carbon brushes. Working 1. When the coil of DC generator rotates in the magnetic field, potential difference is produced in the coil, which gives rise to the flow of current. 2. The flow of current in the circuit is in the same direction as long as the coil rotates in the magnetic field. 3. This is because one brush is always in contact with the arm of the armature moving up and other brush is in contact with the arm of the armature moving downwards 